What's up gamers? Hey, once again, thanks again for tuning in to the Game of Rebirth DL channel. So what do we have today? Today we have the Nintendo Switch Homebrew Loader, which is pretty cool. Now I wanted to create the full process for you guys, so you guys can see that it does work. Now it takes some time. So we begin with this tool. Now we're going to format our memory card. Now I had a 64 gigabyte memory card and the switch was telling me to update. Of course, I don't want to update. I have version firmware 3.00. So now you guys can see that I already had my files included in my memory card, but I'll go ahead and leave that link in the description for that tool. So we're going to go ahead and run the tool. Okay, so we launched the tool. So you will see that drive E. Now it says 63 gigabytes, FAT32. Now you guys make sure that it's on drive E and we start. Now also make sure that you close the folder because it needs to be closed in order for this tool to work. So now once it's closed, click start and it will format it. Now the link if you want to donate it in there you guys can go and donate if this tool was helpful so now you will see that it's done so we can close it okay you guys will see that I don't have nothing in my memory SD card so now I'm just going to create a folder now I'm going to call it switch now this is where you're going to install your homebrew when there's cool homebrew out there. I mean, thanks so much for the developers for this. Now I'll leave this link in the description as well, the homebrew launcher. Okay, we're gonna get this file. Now I already have it in my desktop. We're going to put it on the root of the memory card. So we open the zip folder and then we just drag the HB menu dot NRO into the root. That's all we need. So we close that. Now we turn on our switch. Because we'll see that I inserted the micro SD card and it's going to tell me to restart. I'm going to restart my console. So it doesn't give me an update, so which is cool. Now, one tip, a really important tip, you guys see the system 3.0.0. Now go to system and scroll all the way down. And then you're going to see auto update software. Please make sure you put it on off. We don't want to this system to update once we're in the internet. You guys can see also that my micro SD card is being recognized by my switch. So now we go to internet and then internet settings. And then you of course set up your network. Mine's that one with the 5G. We go to change settings. Okay, so we select change settings. Now you're going to put under the DNS settings as manual and then under primary DNS we're going to put 104.236.106.125. You will see that on the homebrew launcher it has the same numbers or the server so we need to input that as it is. making the screen bigger for you guys okay once we have that we're going to select save that's all we need to do now I'm just going to show you guys that I tried this like three times or four times and it was not working so of course we're going to perform the connection test now it's going to launch the homebrew launcher 
and we select install in case we'll see on the left on the bottom left side that it's working now you guys can see the error code I got it's not the same one as I have to get 2000-1337 so I tried it again a different error code so this is my third time trying it another error code I even took a screen capture just in case I don't know why but as you guys can see it takes time so just be patient so after three tries let's see if my fourth one went well so I select install so finally after three to four tries I got the exact error code on the page you guys will see 2000-1337 now we're going to restart the device and then we're going to perform the connection test again but now we're going to select run okay so our console or device has restarted so we go to settings or system settings internet internet settings and now it's searching for my network of course I have already selected so now connect to the network okay now that it has been restarted we're going to select run okay Now it's working on the bottom left hand side, you guys can see. Now we will get this message, we select OK. Now just let it be, it might take like 30 seconds to kick you back. okay so we're back now we go to album you will see the homebrew launcher finally you guys will see the folder switch on the root of the memory card as well now since we have no homebrew just yet then that's why you don't see no images or anything to select but just remember the disclosure running untrusted homebrew could potentially damage your switch and will void your warranty you are doing this at your own risk okay so now where can we get our homebrew now Renigimate created a switch database beta which is awesome I'll go ahead and leave the link in the description and his link for his Twitter you can download those three files so that we can go ahead and add to our switch so now I have him in my desktop now I'm going to take off my memory card now you can press the home button and it'll take you back So make sure you turn off the switch and then remove the memory card so now you can see our folder that we created the switch folder we're going to transfer those files in there now these are the homebrew Okay, so this is amazing guys this is kind of exciting I'm really excited for this I've been waiting for so long so now we put the memory card back into our switch you guys can see that page is awesome I can't wait to have a lot of homebrew in there so now we go to album you guys will see that our homebrew launcher is not in there now we have to run the internet and internet settings the connection again connect to this network and we select next and now we select run since we already installed it previously now the second time around you turn off the switch you just click run and it should give you that message again 
and click OK. And now you just give it a moment, it'll kick you back. Now if it, you let it go for like 20, 30 seconds, just press the home button and it'll take you back to your home page. Now you guys can see our files, which is amazing. This is awesome guys. I can wait for homebrew for those developers. Good job. Thank you. This is pretty cool. So I'm going to launch this game, space game. You guys can see it's working. You know, I didn't know how to shoot. Good thing the developer put a little message. Use the right joystick for rapid fire. So now you guys can see that the homebrew is working. This game is pretty hard. Now to exit, you just press the home button now also if let's say you go to the home uh, and you want to play the switch game it will not allow you you will need to turn off the console and then you can play the switch game but there you have it guys the homebrew launcher for the Nintendo switch amazing thank you developers thank you for this so remember guys, if this helped, remember to hit like, subscribe, comment, share with your friends. As always, Gamer Rebirth, out.